Hello teacups, welcome back. I thought we would go to Barnes and Noble together because I feel sorry There's a cat hair on my face I feel like we haven't been to Barnes and Noble together in a while and I wasn't really planning on vlogging today But I feel like those kind of days end up being the best kind of vlogs because Sometimes things don't need to be so planned and with me. I love to plan things out I love to think of every single step along the way, but we need to be a little more spontaneous I do have a new uh, teddy bear coat. No, it's not really a coat sweatshirt uh, that I just got from Target and it's got this like neon yellow zipper which is kind of fun and then I have these cozy reading socks on but I'm not gonna wear them to Barnes & Noble obviously because these socks are so big they would not fit in shoes they literally look like casts on my feet <laughs> but they have this like faux Sherpa lining and they are the coziest socks I've ever owned in my entire life so yeah that's a quick outfit of the day stuff together making sure I have everything and I'm gonna listen to this in the car my mom just bought this for me it's the crimes of Grindelwald soundtrack you know what I never actually looked at this oh look it's the baby nifflers <laughs> that's so cute Okay, so there's so many to choose from and I don't know if I should get this Harry and Hedwig or should I get the baby Nifflers? They're so cute. Okay guys, sorry for the weird lighting. Also, been listening to the soundtrack and I have a favorite song. It's number 14. It's called Salamander Eyes and it's like this really delicate, soft piano song and I'm gonna play it a little bit, but I'm gonna try not to get copyrighted on this video. But hopefully if I just play like a little bit of the song, then it won't cause any problems. But I just really want you guys to hear it. And I ended up picking up one book and two Funko Pops, but I decided to kind of turn this into a little haul because I'm just gonna show you all of the books that I've picked up so far this year. So 
what do I have? A total of five books. I'm gonna start with the Funko Pops. I ended up getting Harry. I don't know why, I was really drawn to this one. I saw him before and I just really like how he's in his pajamas. I just think he looks so cute. And so I got that one and then I also picked up Hedwig. I really love the animals in the Harry Potter series and I had never seen a Hedwig one before. So as soon as I saw her, I was like, yeah, I definitely have to have this one. There's Hedwig. She's so cute. So yes, where should I put these? I actually just added this little lantern um, to my bookshelf because I thought it made the room look a bit more cozy. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, let's see. I think I'm gonna put Luna somewhere else. Maybe I'll just put her up here. And then I'm gonna put Harry and Hedwig here. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Ooh, I like how you can see him back there. <laughs> okay, moving on to the books. I picked up, well, some of you guys have already seen this, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. So I am actually going to be reading this in February. I have a whole video about it. I'll have it linked down below. But basically, my friend Taylor and I have started a book club, and this is the book we're going to be reading with you guys. Next, I picked up Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. And it says, Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. She's only there because it was her mother's dying wish that she get to know her father. But what kind of father isn't around for 16 years? All Lena wants to do is go back home. But then she is given a journal that her mom had kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly, Lena's uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. A world that inspires her, along with the ever-so-charming Wren, to follow in her mother's footsteps and unearth a secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything Lena knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. People come to Italy for love and gelato, someone tells her but sometimes they discover much more. This sounds so cute! I'm really excited to read that one. I also picked up The Minimalist Home by Joshua Becker. And this is a room-by-room -room guide to a decluttered, refocused life. And this talks about why minimizing is more valuable than organizing. And it talks about how clutter actually creates stress, which is very true. One area where I really try to focus on is my wardrobe, and I've been trying to work on this for a really long time, so I'm actually hoping that this book will specifically help me with my wardrobe. And it says, minimalism isn't about taking something away from you, it's about giving you something more. So I think this will be really good and really beneficial. Uh, the next book is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I actually started reading this a few days ago and oh my gosh, this book is changing my life. Okay, so he really breaks it down and explains to you how your habits actually create your identity. You are what you do daily. But he also goes on to say that that's a good thing because you can actually choose step by step who you want to become. So it's so much more than just talking about habits, it's really talking about the person that you want to become. And it's really inspiring and it's honestly so, so helpful. And he also talks about goals and he says, don't focus on your goals, focus on your systems. So focus on how you're going to get to those goals and focus on what you're doing daily. I think I actually want to read a little bit too, really quick. So he says, we all deal with setbacks, but in the long run, the quality of our lives often depends on the quality of our habits. With the same habits, you'll end up with the same results. But with better habits, anything is possible. And he says, decide the type of person you want to be and prove it to yourself with small wins. So that's just a little sneak peek. And then the last thing I picked up is actually a new Bible. Um, this is called She Reads Truth Bible. And I really, really like this because my other Bible was kind of hard to understand because it, um, it didn't really help you study it. Like this one has a lot of devotionals and quotes and there's maps and there's just all sorts of things to help you understand it better. Oh wow, this is like a Pinterest Bible. And yeah, I'm so excited it comes with this little bookmark too. Um, but yeah, so that is everything that I've picked up from the new year so far. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you again soon, bye.